let us try to understand the next item okay, which is your joint probability table okay note that we introduced the concept of joint probability long back okay now when i say that joint probability let's say suppose you have two variables x and y we want to know x can take value of let's say 1 3 5 y can take value of let's say 2 8 and 20 okay we want to understand how these two are behaving right so x can say we can say x can take values of let's say 1 3 and 5 okay then your y y can take value of 2 8 and 20 now what you can see is that there may be a point where when x is equal to 1 your y will be equal to 20 right so the chances of that whatever is the probability let's say probability p1 so this chance of p1 we can represent here so p1 is the probability that x is equal to 1 and y is equal to 20 right so that is the probability of x 1 and y 20 similarly we can write p2 is the probability when x is 3 and y is 20 P3 is the probability that x is 5 and y is 20. Now, if I want to know what is the probability that y equal to 20, the probability of y is equal to 20 will be nothing but the probability of 1 plus probability of 2 plus probability of 3. Note that this is your unconditional probability, probability of y becoming 20. Here, it does not matter what is the value of x. X can be anything, 1, 3, and 5. Okay, we are saying that we are interested only in the probability of y being 20 which will be the sum of this okay then similarly we can fill this let's say p4 p5 p6 p7 p8 p9 okay now i want to know what is the probability that x will be equal to 1 okay see the probability of x equal to 1 this is the one this is this is all this cases the probability is x equal to 1 is there so we can say that probability of x equal to 1 is p7 plus p4 plus p1 that is the probability that x is equal to 1 okay now if somebody ask what is this p5 p5 is the probability that x will be equal to 3 and y will be equal to 8 so this is denoting the joint probability why joint probability because the probability of occurrence of two events two independent two random variable it is explaining now what would be the summation of all the pi's from y i equal to 1 to 9 that is summation of all this know that the summation of all this will be equal to 1 because we know that y can take only value of 28 or 2 20 probability is the sum of this 8 is this 2 is this so these are the only three cases so these are all mutually exclusive collectively exhaustive so the summation of this probability will be equal to 1 right so this is a joint probability table joint probability table are very very useful in estimation of the probabilities for the random variables